Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is ReactJS video tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to implement the auto search functionality in a drop down list using HTML data list element in ReactJS component. And here we got the final output of our application auto search functionality with the drop down list with the data list element using the react.js api so when i click this down arrow see here we got the data which is the api country names from this country table which contains all the country names now when i search brazil see here we got brazil here if i search for Spain, see here we got the Spain, India, here we got the India. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous ReactJS tutorials. You can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. If you notice in this browser contains one Django REST framework API, which is a get method. So this get data is in JSON format. We are getting this data from this country table, which is in my SQL PHP my admin database. Now my aim is I want to fetch this API, Django REST framework API and display these country names into a drop down list with the auto search functionality using HTML data list element in a react.js component. Now first thing when you want to communicate this API into a react.js application we need to configure our Django application to connect the react.js application. So for that we require to install course headers package open a new browser and search for course headers and from the search results i'm selecting the django course headers and here we got this package django course headers the version is 3.6.0 and this package is free to use so we don't require any license so now come to the bottom if you check here the course headers allows your resources to be accessible on the other domains so now i want to communicate with the react.js application from the django so first let's copy this installation command we need to install this command in our django application here i have already opened our django api which is in views page if you notice this is our api now we need to configure the course headers in our django settings.py page open that one and first we need to install ctrl c i'm pasting that command which i have in copied install so once the package is installed successfully into our django application now the next step switch again to the course headers website notice in the install underscore apps there is a course headers let's copy that one and paste in the install underscore app section at the bottom after that the next step we need to install the course headers dot middleware this line we need to copy we require the comma also and this line we need to add above this django dot middleware so in the middleware here now the final step is very important we need to add this configuration course allowed origins this is the one we need to copy and paste here anywhere in our settings of py page and if you notice here the course allowed origins contain some dummy 
uh, domain names so let's delete these dummy domains and add our react.js url or domain name for the local host of the react.js contains 3000 that's it the local host 3000 is our react.js domain or url let's save this application that's it we have configured everything to connect or communicate with our react.js application after that the most important step is we need to run our service so let's run our django application python manage dot py run server if the service is not running we don't fetch the data from the api so make sure run the service now after that let's open one react.js application i have created one first iphone app react application in visual studio code and app.js which is our default react component i'm closing this react.js component i'm creating one more new component in our project source folder new file the file name is auto search ddl.js and here we got our auto search ddl.js file now in this js file we can create the react.js component in react.js we can create two types of components one is a class component and the second one is a functional component but before that we need to import the react class from the react library so let's import first the react class import react from react library after that for this video tutorial i'm creating a functional component function auto search ddl and this function return i'm adding the do element inside the do element auto search functionality with drop down list using data list element html element react js rest api tutorials after that i am adding one simple horizontal line now after the horizontal line we need to export our component export default auto search ddl which is our component name now let's save this file now before implementing the rest api the get method let's check the basic output of our component on the browser so to run this component on the browser we need to configure our component in index.js file and that index.js file is available in our project source folder see here the index.js file open that one if you notice in this index.js file contains the app component which is a default component of our application but i want to run this complement the component auto search ddl let's copy that one and, and paste here instead of app component i want to run auto search ddl let's save this file save all now let's check the output npm start enter and here we got the output of our application right now this component contains only the header tags now my aim is I want to fetch this API, the country names, and display here in this component in a drop down list with the auto search functionality using HTML data list element. So, first let's call this API against which auto or auto search DTL component. Here I'm declaring one constant variable called um, country names country names and country country data 
is an object is equals to use state method I'm adding array because we have more than one record notice when I add use state it's added automatically to our import statement after that I'm defining use effect method use effect method this use effect method when I add this use effect method notice this also is added now this function fetch I'm adding the fetch method the first parameter takes a request info the information we are getting from the API so this is the API we need to add copy that one and paste here we need to put between single quotes then comma do curly brackets now we need to add the API method is get method within single quotes I'm adding get comma after that we require the headers the headers is a JSON type the content type is JSON application let's copy that one and paste here we need to add a single course the content type and the application slash JSON after that then method then method response is equals to the response is in JSON method and that that response the JSON contains this country data then response in response country data is a variable response that's it now we need to get this country names on the on the data list first I'm adding one data list element and this data list element contains the options option curly brackets close here the country names dot map method contains a object result this contents result dot my column name which is a C name that's it now after adding the country names to this data list now we require to add the auto search functionality for that I'm adding input type is equals to text and ID is very important here the ID is uh, not the ID is a list 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 contains the data one let's add this data one for this ID is equals to data one let's add the placeholder is equals to such country and I'm adding style style text align another curly brackets text align is center comma and the color is red that's a green here green. I'm closing the input tab that's it let's save this file save all and here we got some compiled with warnings array.pro.map let's put here one return method return method and this option is inside the return method 
let's save this file again save all now the warning also has gone and we got a message compiled successfully let's check the output let's put this in the center tab everything center tag After that, do I'm adding let's save this file again. Save all now. We check the final output, and here we got the final output of our application auto search functionality with the drop down list with a data list element using the React.js API. So when I click this down arrow see here we got the data which is the api country names from this country table which contains all the country names now when i search brazil see here we got brazil here if i search for spain see here we got the spain India here we got the India that's it in this video tutorial I have explained dynamically populate data into a drop-down list with the auto search functionality using HTML5 data list element thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel